This video will give you an overview of our Invites feature. Our Invite feature can be used to create tickets too. In Qflow, an invite and a ticket are the same thing. Once a guest receives their invite, you can scan them into your event using the barcode we generate. To use the Invite feature, you'll first need to add some guests to your event. This is covered in more detail in other videos. Once your guests have been added, we need to click on the Invite button. You need to name the invite, and then click Create Invitation. You're now in the Invite Editor. The left side of the screen is where you'll add invite information, and the right shows you a preview of that information. In this overview, we won't use the RSVP feature. We'll include a barcode and we'll leave it centered. You can, however, left and right align it. Let's add an image. Now comes the important information we want our guests to be aware of. In this editor, you can change the font, size, color, and alignment. We've tried to make it as simple as possible. To make your invites personal to your guests, you can use a Smart Fields feature. This allows you to include their name in any other related information. Tagging is an important part of Qflow, and in this scenario, I'm going to include the guest's tag on their invite. This will tell the guest if they're a silver or gold ticket holder. Once we're happy with their invite, we can click Save and Continue. The next decision is whether you wish to send your invite as an HTML email or as a PDF attachment. Both have their pros and cons, and we'll explain this in more detail in other videos. In this example, we're going to send as a PDF. Since we're sending this invite as an attachment, we can also change the text that actually appears in the email. This could be done in the editor on the left. It's also important to note that you should always send a test to yourself before sending it to your actual guests. Now that we're happy, we're going to click Save and Continue. Now we need to choose which guests will receive this invite. This is done through Qflow's tagging feature. When I imported these guests, I tagged them as guest lists. These are the guests I want to receive the invite. Now I'm going to click Prepare to Send. Make sure you look at our invite terms so you understand the delivery process. Let's send these invites out now. As you send these invites out, we'll give you real-time information on what's going on. How many you've sent, how many have been delivered, and how many have been opened. Now our invites have been delivered, we can see information on delivery issues. We can actually click on this guest now and change their email address to a correct one. Before we do that, let's have a look at what the invite actually looks like when it's sent. Okay, so we need to update this guest. Let's click on him. As we can see, he's got the wrong email address entered. I now want to update this guest's email and send them another invite. From the guest profile, you can print and preview invitations, or you can send them. This is useful for box office scenarios or latecomers. I'm going to send the invitation again, with the correct email address this time.
This has been a quick overview of the invites feature. Check out other videos for more in-depth information.